I'm going to show you how you can embed a gallery on your website of Airtable records. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com and I will add it all to this in the description. So the tool is actually embedded right here. So the, um, this grid that you see is actually a use of this tool on this web page because it is embedded into this web page. Um, and it shows you sort of how this extension uh, looks and how it works in general. So each one of these squares is actually a record on your table. Uh, the images are attachments. I can actually show you the table right now. So this is the table that we're working with. So as you can see, there is an image field. The image field is making up these images. Then there's also a title field. It's making this title. And then there's also actually a URL field that works uh, um, if you click the the item that's what URL you'll be taken to and this is an iframe that we've made so that it actually fits nicely in in a website so that the size auto scales so if I do this right now right it doesn't look like it's an iframe that's just like a one of those like fixed height iframes um, it nicely scales with the web page and I encourage you to test it with uh, your phone and, and whatever you want to test it with too um, and then if I click on this, uh, the whole page will also be navigated to. And like I said, this, this URL comes from right here. Um, you can also use this extension as a just a full website demo. Um, I mean, a full website. So it can be embedded in other web pages, or you can just access it through this URL that we give you. Um, and then everything just works the same way. So if you were to set this up, this is what that would look like. You would follow the blue URLs to find the top three things here, the user API key, base ID, and table ID. After that, if you want to uh, specify a view ID, you can do that here. And that's generally a good use of um, determining you know, how the data changes on your website live, um, the way they're sorted, and the way they're um, just the, the records that are included and the way they're sorted. Um, the next, the cover image. So this is. This thing right here, in my case, it's images. Just make sure it's case sensitive. And then both optional, the URL and the title. And um, the if, if you have no URL, this just won't be clickable. If you have no title, it's just this little gray part, part at the bottom wouldn't be shown. So it would just be an image gallery. Um, and you can, yeah. That. So after you've set up everything, you'll want to hit save out here. And then you'll have the two options that we mentioned earlier. So if I open the share URL, I can see this, and then I can click anything to go to it. And if I click on embed on your website, I get a couple of options here. So I get an option to set the width. Um, the width will be set to 100% if you leave this blank. So it'll take up the entire uh, width of the screen. By default, it's 800. So the next thing here is height. If you would like us to not automatically resize the view and instead give it a fixed height, you can type that height here and we will give the view a fixed height. Um, but if you leave that blank, we will auto size the height, which is in general what we want. When you're done with this, you can click on this little icon to copy the code and then you can embed that on your website.